All right, y'all. So I told you I'd be posting three times a week on YouTube, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. What I think I'm going to do is post two normal videos on Monday and Wednesday. And then Friday, I think we're just going to review the comments and I'll answer them for you guys because, you know, I like to show more interaction than a lot of other people. So um, I think that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go over some comments and I'll, I'll answer them for you guys. All right, y'all. So the first comment we got here is from someone named Brandon. He said, hey, Colin, I appreciate the positive vibes. Lost my mom a few months ago and it's been tough. First of all, I appreciate the support, Brandon. I'm really sorry to hear about your mother. Um, like I tell you guys all the time, my inbox in, on Instagram is always open. So if you guys need support or just somebody to talk to, you guys are always just feel free to message me. Um, I know it can be hard losing a parent and I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat it and be like, oh, everything's going to be OK because it really does suck. But the best thing you can do is just try to remember the good times. You know what I mean? The only thing that's really going to make it better is the time that passes, honestly. But I am sorry to hear that. The next comment we got here is from Nirvana. They said, I can never tell if you're 6'4 or 5'7. Which are you? So honestly, I'm not going to tell you how tall I am because it's just something I like to mess around with in videos. But um, I'm just kidding. I'm really 6'4. I say I'm 5'7 because it's just funny because like, bro, there's no way I'm 5'7. Like people with 5'7 don't have a frame like that. You know what I mean? But um, I just do it for fun. You know what I mean? It's easy views and easy views are always the goal. The next comment we got here is from Marcus. He said, finally back, bro. Missed you here. Keep it up, bro. I appreciate it. I know I slack off on YouTube all the time. Like I'll go hard at it for a couple of weeks and then I'll stop for six months. That's how I've been since I started. But it's stupid. I need to be posting consistently on each and every one of my social medias at the end of the day. Because one, it's all source of income. Two, it's a different audience. You know what I mean? Like I know a lot of you guys are from TikTok, but I have got comments from people that are like, oh, dude, I didn't even know you were on TikTok, which is cool. You know what I mean? Um, I need to also be streaming on Twitch and stuff like that. So it's just about the consistency. Sometimes I get a little too focused on one thing and start slacking off on others. So that's why right now I'm just trying to focus, you know, all my energy onto just getting content out there on all my media platforms. Hey, Lisa, could we get a story time about your friend you're doing the countdown for? So I know I don't really, like I make the countdown videos every morning, obviously, but you guys don't really know too much about my homie. And that's because I really want him to be able to tell his story when he gets out. But um, basically what I can tell you is my homie named G and, uh, We've been friends since 2012. So we were in the county when we met. Um, I knew his brother growing up. And uh, he ended up coming up to the prison that I was at, you know, after I was already there. And we just got close. Like, it's one of the homies from where I'm from. And uh, he helped me a lot. You know what I mean? That's why I always try to make sure that I show that appreciation through my post. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of the reason I am the way I am is from listening to him talk. So at the end of the day, like he's only got a little less than a year left. He'll be out here and uh, you guys will get to meet him for yourself. So it'll be dope. You know, I appreciate it though. So the next comment is from Raymond. He said, can juvenile POs lock you back up for not having a job? Because my PO told me she was going to take me back to court if I didn't have a job by the next time she saw me. So that really depends. Like a lot of times they won't try to lock you up because they want you to, they just want you to work. You know what I mean? So the best thing that I can tell you is if they're demanding that you get a job, go to a temp agency. It's the easiest way to get a job. That's what I did for the, besides the first job I came, I had when I came home. Um, I always went to the temp agency. I'd walk in, you fill out all your stuff. They don't, they don't care about your background or anything thing and then they'll place you somewhere you normally start the next day and you normally make decent money because it's jobs that other people don't want to work people don't want to work 12 hours in a warehouse but at the end of the day it's legal money and it's a check you know what i mean and that's what you should be focusing on but um if you need any like resources or anything for your area send me a message let me know where you're from and i'll find some information for you and send it out to you Kevin said you should do old classic Vine reactions. So I could, because I've never, I've never watched Vine. Like I tell you guys all the time, like I was locked up when Vine came out. I was also locked up when Vine died. So like I've heard about it. Like I've seen little compilations and stuff. But like it's never been something that I could really just like get into and watch because it's all like it's old. You know what I mean? But um, if you guys have like some specific things you want me to react to, like funny vines or something, you can send them to me and I'll definitely react to them. Um, it's just never been something that I really had the opportunity to look at besides on YouTube. Denise said, something I've been curious about is the difference between parole and probation. Is probation like instead of serving time? So I'm not 100% sure how they differ, but parole is if you're incarcerated and you get released onto supervision before your time is up. So basically, it's not good time, though, not in Pennsylvania. In some states, you'll have to do only a portion of your time and then parole is the rest. It's not like that here. But um, probation is most of the time, like you said, instead of serving time. But now if you mess that probation up, then they will send you to jail. Like a lot of times probation in Pennsylvania, if you violate your probation, say you have a two year, two year probation for um, selling weed and you violate that, then they'll give you, you know, two to four years in prison. And you didn't really do what you didn't commit another crime, but they gave you probation instead of that original incarceration. But once you mess it up, that's when they'll send you upstate and stuff like that. To my knowledge, I'm not, I'm no expert. 
Then we got Casey Davis with the thank you. I'm wearing your shirt today too. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you always being here. One of my, I just, oh, I haven't shown you guys yet. I, uh, well, I don't know if you'll really be able to see it, but I got the thank you tattoo right there. So, um, yeah, you know, I try to always stay true to what I say on these apps. Like at the end of the day, being authentic does go a long way. So many people fake stuff all the time. Like I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's better just to be you. You know what I mean? So like things like this, like it's cool to me. Like he's him and his family are super supportive. So like it wasn't nothing for me to go get a tattoo, you know? So I do appreciate you, Casey. This comment says you and Larry Lawton got to get in touch with each other. So I'm mutuals with Larry. I love his content. He, he's been able to do so much to so much for so many people, honestly. Um, I would love to make content with him sometime in the future. Um, next month, I'm going to be in California and I'll be making content with uh, Comrade. Hopefully, Ray comes out and uh, Jess. We're all going out there for a free bird trip. So we'll be able to get a lot of different content out, a lot of different collabs and stuff like that, which will be super dope. But um, that is something that I definitely would like to do in the future for sure. Most of the other comments are just saying like, I love your videos. I love your stuff and stuff like that. And I appreciate all of you guys. Like I tell you that all the time, but I truly mean that. Like I didn't even know that social media was a thing that could be a job. You know what I mean? I knew nothing about this stuff when I came home. So the fact that I've been able to get this far in not even, you know, not even three years is like all because of you at the end of the day. Like, yeah, I put the content out, but that's all I do. It's not that hard to make a video. You know what I mean? But you guys are the ones that like them, comment on them, follow me, sub to me. And that's really why my account's been what it is. You know what I mean? So don't think for a second that I'm never great. That, don't think for a second that I'm not grateful for you guys because I always am. I really do appreciate y'all. So I know this video was a little bit shorter. Um, I need to make an intro. If anybody knows how, I would appreciate you giving me some sort of insight because like I, I'm new to all this. Like, yeah, I've been on YouTube for a bit, but like, I don't know how to do any of that. You know what I mean? Um, for someone that does social media for a living, I'm not very like tech savvy with stuff like that. So any help would be greatly appreciated. Um, like I said, Monday, Monday and Wednesdays, I'm going to make normal, you know, present videos or whatever kind of video, um, more informational type stuff, story times and stuff like that. And then Friday, I'll go back through and we'll look at the comments and stuff. So if you guys want your comments answered, like I'll still answer them, like type them out and stuff. But if you guys want, you know, go ahead and leave more comments and, you know, I'll get to them next week. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for being here.